Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to talk about Niagara static meshes and surfaces in Unreal 4. Now, related to the previous videos, shapes and surfaces, where we could adhere and spawn particles on surfaces, you can also do that with your own custom meshes. In this case, I made a nice seasonal snowman, so we're going to use that for this video. So, the first thing we want to do is, I'm going to go to my effects folder, I'm going to right click, go to effects, and I'm going to create a Niagara emitter from an empty template. I'm going to name it NE, whatever you want, I'm going to call mine snowman, and then I'm going to open that up. And we'll just save it, stop the timeline. And the first thing we want to do is we want to spawn rate. And I'm going to set the spawn rate to something like a thousand. And I'll just save it so it can compile. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to come down to particle spawn. In the add button, we're going to go to location, kind of like the other ones. But in this case, we're looking for static mesh location. When we click on that, you're going to get an error. Basically, it's looking for another module called sample static mesh. So we're going to click on fix issue. And once you do that, you'll see that there's also another warning on this sample static mesh. And what's going on here is it says invalid data. You haven't assigned anything to it. So we're going to fix issue. And then once again, we still have that error. It says no mesh assigned. So what we need to do is we need to add a default mesh to this. We're going to click on the drop down, and I'm going to add my snowman to this. And this should work, right? I'm going to compile. But it's not working yet. And that's because not only with the default mesh, but we also need to put a preview mesh in. So we'll put the snowman in there as well. And now it's working, but they're a little big. So I'm going to go to initialize particle and I'm going to go down to sprite size mode for now, just uniform. I'm going to change this to something like one. Let's see how that looks. Right away, you can see that these are showing up kind of like my snowman. So if I just scrub this on the timeline, you'll see that it's appearing. And that's it. From here, if you want to add some other effects to it, you can do that. So for example, I'm going to add some velocity in here. And I'll fix that so we get solve forces and velocity. And I'm going to take this velocity and I'm going to break it or make vector. In the X, I'm going to add a curve so that it doesn't want to go right away. We're going to start off at zero. And then in here, I keep to this curve. I actually don't want to go in the positive direction. I want to go in the negative direction. So I'm going to try something like negative one. I might want to do less than that negative 0 0.2 Let's just take a look at that play and the next thing I want to do is I actually want to come in and I want to change the emitter state we're going to change this to self and the loop behavior we're going to set it to once so that we can have a shorter duration and we'll make this something like three seconds and then in our initialized particle, we'll also make this something like two. Let that compile. And now we should see our velocity show a little better. So we'll let that play. So that they start the drift, start to smear away. And now I think I'm also going to add a curve to the Z so that they can go up a little bit. I'm going to set this to zero. I'll add a curve in here, keep it right in here, add this real low, maybe even lower. Yeah, it's a little much, so I'm going to set that value to 0 0.02. Then I want a little bit more, 0 0.05. That's fine. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to adjust the color. So in my initialized particle, I'm going to go to color mode, change it from unset to direct set. And I want this color to be something like a yellow. And then I'm also going to add in particle update. I'm going to add a scale color. So we need a little more intensity out of this, but we want intensity. And then we also want these particles to fade in and out. So in the alpha, I'm going to add a curve here, and I'll set this first key 
to zero. And then we'll put another key in here, right here, and we'll set this to one. But let's make sure that these are set to auto so that they're smooth. Let's take a look at this, see that they're fading in. and they're fading out, cool. And now I'm gonna take the scale RGB and I'm actually gonna turn this into one float because I really only want intensity here. I'm gonna turn that float into a curve. And now this curve, once again, I'm gonna start it at zero. And then this last key, I'm gonna set this to something like 20, maybe even more, 30. Let's see what that does. Now we'll let that play. We get a little bit of an intensity there. And that's it. So now I'm going to close this and I'm going to create a Niagara system from it. And I'll name it correctly. We'll just do NS. And we'll drag this into the world. Pretty cool. Just zero this out. And we'll also zero out our snowman. Make sure there's no rotation on it. Focus on it. Now let's grab our and let's grab our Niagara system. I'm gonna hit G on the keyboard so I can't see what's going on. And then if I hit four solo, yeah, looks like Frosty just lost the soul. All right, guys. If you thought this video was useful and it helped. Please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.